Here we are in River Grove, Illinois. River Grove, Illinois. You might remember this corner. This is one of my first videos ever. Uh, in fact, I wasn't even called Disorderly Product News. I was called uh, Constitutional Kevlar when I did this video. It was horrible. I mean, absolutely horrible. The production was terrible. I mean, uh, the, the, the camera I had was terrible. Everything was good. My content was good. Uh, but the production was terrible. And uh, what it is is... Um, it's actually where I made that sign with the letter B sign, put the beware of police. I made that sign because of this. Uh, what they're doing is they're standing on the corner and they're jumping out in the middle of traffic uh, on the auspicion of safety uh, because people are not wearing their seatbelts. Uh, somebody not wearing their seatbelt is inherently dangerous to nobody on the road. Somebody jumping out in the middle of traffic and giving them a $150 ticket is $150 for not wearing a piece of cloth around you now they will say oh i'll give you uh, i'm gonna give you a break and make this a, a, like a parking ticket so you don't get any points and it'll only be 75 dollars so people are going to end up thanking them on their way out after they get uh, a 75 dollar ticket because it wasn't a 150 dollar ticket but let's go up to these gentlemen and see what they're doing here they are they've seen me as soon as i turn the corner they, these are the more perceptive gentlemen uh, of the River Grove Police Department. Let's go up there and see what they're talking about. Now, I don't think they fear disorderly product news or constitutional Kevlar at the last time because it didn't get that many views. I had just started. I think I had 10 subscribers. So I think they laughed at me. Let's go over here and uh, address our government officials and see what's going on. Hello, gentlemen. How's it going? What's the word? What are we out here doing today? Seatbelt safety checkpoint? Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Are we, are we doing the silent treatment? Silent treatment, that's what we do. Now we're doing hand signals, so it's a thumbs up for the silent treatment. Can I get you to ID yourself? Okay, so I'll stand over here and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll videotape my public servants in the course of their duties uh, as uh, the Supreme Court is upheld. Oh, the big smile on their face. Monday afternoon, hardworking people are going to get a $75 ticket, a $150 ticket, but they're going to tell them to give them a break and give them a $75 ticket for not wearing their seatbelt. Somehow that's dangerous to society, but jumping out in the middle of traffic is somehow safer. Here we are in River Grove, Illinois, at the world's most unsafe safety checkpoint. When a man with a gun jumps out on you and tells you to give them money it's usually a bad thing but here in river grove i guess it's a good thing okay see so you got your seatbelt on there okay another seatbelt okay the funny thing is uh, a month from now the, the fire department will come out with a boot asking for money these people take money uh the fire department asks for money You should have talked in the first place. Uh, you should have been more cordial. Maybe if you were more cordial, this you wouldn't be in the position you're in. Well, I'm going to stand underneath this sign. I'm not even going to get wet. Ha, ah, look at that. I'm in the safety of the sign. Are you sure we don't need binoculars or something? These are two junior members. I believe right here, I believe this gentleman coming in here might be, oh, maybe not. We don't even have a sergeant on duty. We need a sergeant or somebody over here. Policing for profit at its best. Grand and Thatcher, policing for profit. Mayor Guerin, is this what it's come down to? We are policing for profit at Grand and Thatcher. Disorderly product news is at Grand and Thatcher. Two gentlemen armed. One, both of them got lethal weaponry. Uh, two or three forms of less than lethal weaponry. And they are jumping out in the middle of traffic for seatbelts. Under the auspicion of safety. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. He loves it. He's taking money and laughing the whole time. He loves it. The Bears lost yesterday. Nobody's in a good mood. It's raining, and here's a $75 ticket. Life sucks right now in River Grove.
There's the new Starbucks though. There's the new Starbucks. How long do you think before I uh, I get these guys to go off? How, how, how long do you think it's gonna be before I annoy the hell out of them and they, they just leave? I think it's gonna be pretty soon. I don't think, oh, he's looking at his watch already. That's it, he's doing a little cute, uh, body cute. Look at his watch as if, as if there's a time uh, constraint. <laughs> there's a disorderly product news constraint. It's raining out here, the bear's lost. Life sucks. Life sucks. But hey, $75 a pop, $150 a pop if they don't give you a break. Uh oh, he's eyeing that one. Something, something's going on with that tiger car. He gave him a little bit extra eye. Okay, nothing going on over there. Oh. Here he goes. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job, officer. That guy tricked him. The guy, he, when he went, he didn't have his seatbelt on, but when he went past, he put it on real quick. By the time he got his gun into the car, it was on, and he pretended like it was underneath his arm. That, with that, that is an experienced seatbelt, uh, a seatbelt, uh, uh, I don't know what you would call him. A seatbelt, um, conniver. He tricked him, though. Definitely tricked him. He, he didn't have his seatbelt on, but when he went past him, he, he put the seatbelt on over him, and then when the guy, by the time the guy got to his window, the seatbelt was already on. He shook his hand, so uh, you can't you can't have a you can't have a uh, cell phone in your hand in the state of Illinois at a stoplight. Under the auspicious of safety, you will get a, you will get a ticket, but you can roll down your window and start shaking hand with police officers. Somehow that's safe. Can't hold a cell phone in your car, but you can reach out and start shaking a police officer's hand outside your car that's I don't know what's going on I don't know I don't I I've given up on uh, I've given up on trying to figure out what's going on here some things make sense some things make no sense but everything makes money <laughs> he, that, that officer got completely fooled. Completely fooled. I mean, the guy was quick with it too. I mean, he did. I mean, he did it the perfect timing. As soon, I hope I got it on tape. As soon as he moved, he put the seatbelt on, and by the time he caught up to his car, and he rolled down the window, the seatbelt was already attached, and he pretended like it was underneath his arm. So here we are, Ben. For eight minutes and twenty-eight seconds, two police officers. Now, I know the medium salary for uh, Chicago police officers ninety thousand dollars. So. Uh, a year I can only imagine how much we've gotten right now so we're at 8 minutes and 42 seconds no seatbelt uh, one guy tricked them and uh, this is the world's least safe safety checkpoint this is inherently less safe than wearing your seatbelt jumping out in the middle of traffic and shaking hands with a police officer is somehow more safe uh, than, uh, than I don't know I don't know Jumping out and getting distracted is somehow more safe than not having your seatbelt on. The seatbelt laws, okay, there are 34 states in which a seatbelt infraction is a primary infraction. Uh, that, is a, that is an infraction in which they can pull you over for not wearing your seatbelt. There are 34 states just like that. Here we go, here we got. Who do you got here, sir? Oh, he had his window down, he put it right back up when he saw me. They didn't want to have any conversation with me. Is he wearing a seatbelt? Sir, can I ask you a question? Sir, can I be Sir, can I ask you a question? Can I ask him a question real quick? You don't have your seatbelt on. He didn't have his seatbelt on. Officer, he didn't have his seatbelt on when he pulled up. You didn't have your seatbelt on. 
You didn't, you didn't have your seatbelt on though. Wait, he didn't have his seatbelt on, and you guys are giving tickets for people without their seatbelt. This is ridiculous. Officer, this gentleman didn't have his seatbelt on. Officer, you didn't have your seatbelt on. Officer, you didn't have your seatbelt on. You guys aren't writing seatbelt tickets and then not bringing your seatbelt yourself. That's not happening, is it? He literally pulled up without a seatbelt on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? This, he rolled up without his seatbelt on, and they're giving seat, p tickets for no seatbelts. Oh, my God. This is going to... I'm going to hit viral with this one. We're going viral, fellas. Oh, it'll be the third time. It won't be the first. Where were you? Got it. Oh, yeah, but that was, uh, that was when I first... How dare we make sure people are safe? You're right. You're, oh, yeah. Oh, that, that, that's how you're making people safe? By jumping out in the middle of traffic? Okay. I'm not jumping. I'm casually walking with a bright yellow vest. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That, so that's more safe than... So, so somebody not wearing their seatbelt is, is, is less safe? You're right. We are horrible people for trying to keep people safe in force law. You're right. Well, you not, right. Not, not, Sir, you are right. Now you're using people. hyperbole. Sir, now you're using hyperbole. You are right. You are right. You're wrong. You're wrong. Yes, you're right. I am right. You are wrong. Thank you. We agree on something. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. You're you're right. You are right. I am right. You are wrong. That's correct. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Just keep that line of thinking. As long as you keep that line. No, no, stop talking. Go back to stop talking. I liked it better when you didn't talk. Just keep that. I can't even hear you. I don't even know what you're saying. But we'll stay with the uh, I'm right. You're wrong theory. And you go back to not talking. I like that better. But the gentleman drove up with no seatbelt on. Yet they are giving tickets for seatbelts. And they got a new Starbucks. Don't forget the new Starbucks. Here we are. And they're aware of me, so. If you were aware of me, you would know that never goes the right way. So you heard it here first. They are horrible people. They don't wear their seatbelts, and I am right. We have th we have we we have gotten three answers from them. They're horrible people. They don't wear their seatbelts, and I am right. So I, uh, at least they're honest. They are honest in the River Grove. They don't wear their seatbelts. I'm right, and they're horrible people. That it seems. Uh, it seems like we covered all the bases right there. And there's a new Starbucks. There's the new Starbucks right there in River Grove. New Starbucks. You can't tell them nothing now that they got a new Starbucks. Okay, so this officer left his car running. Well, he doesn't pay for the gas, so the car is running. Uh, I don't leave the car running when, because I don't want to pay for gas yet, but when you don't pay for the gas, I guess you can leave the car running. You're, you seem like you're making your way over here. You would know that because you're smarter than us. That's called the safety method. You're smarter than us. No, no, I didn't hear you. You, gotta, you, can't, you can't talk to me and then back away while you're talking. What did you say? It's a safety measure, but you're smarter than us. It's a safety measure? What's, this, what's safe, what, Tell me the safety measure. Well, that's just a, a phrase. Oh, okay, well, yeah, yeah, you're smart. Oh, okay. Why no, no, I won't. No, I won't deny it. If you give me a legitimate reason why that needs to be running, then tell me. You. You're right. I, I didn't. You didn't have to. I didn't All have I you have to come to up to me. Okay. Well, okay. Well, well, you're making a lot of sense now. You come up to me to say something. Okay. Well, I didn't ask you. You come up to me to make don't make sense and then complain about not making. Sense. Okay. There we got. We got a. We got a regular old Einstein here. He wants to commentate on my commentary, but then not explain his commentary, and then throw up his hand in confusion and say, oh well. So there you go. But uh, was it a safety measure to not wear your seatbelt at a seatbelt safety checkpoint? Is that also a safety measure? Oh, man. Oh, man. It's rough. It's rough taking money from hardworking people. It's a rough job, I know. You're right. It is very rough to keep people safe. You're right. It's a rough job. Who's... Thank you for Who's who, who? Who's safe? Who are you keeping safe though? The actual driver? The driver's safer? Well, isn't it the driver? Shouldn't the driver have the ability to decide whether they? You know they're dead. There's six. Do you know? I didn't make the seatbelt law. I just enforced it. I know you don't. But you have discretion, right? You have discretion, no? Uh, he's one of those guys where he just does a lot of uh, 
eccentric uh, head movement and he's confused about everything and he's shocked and he's oh, oh my god this and that and he uses his hyper hyperbolic statements so he just jumped in to roll your window down I gotta talk to you about something there you go that was safe I enjoyed that that little safety oh he didn't have a seatbelt on now we're just letting people go I think that's better I think uh, just telling them to put their seatbelt on there we go there we get now we we can we can meet both ways. We'll just tell them to wear their seatbelt, and we won't give them a ticket. There now, everybody's safe, and nobody gets fined. So we'll just tell them to put their seatbelts on. We don't have to give them a ticket. See, now now that's that's uh that's cooperation. That's the meeting of the minds. That's all we got to do is tell them to wear their seatbelt. We don't have to actually uh, charge them for not wearing their seatbelts. That I can't. Hear. Okay, well, when you want me to be involved in the conversation, say it loud enough so I can hear it. I'm doing you the favor by saying it loud enough so you can hear it. I'm, I'm talking to my subscribers, though. I'm not talking to you. So here we are. It is raining, and there's a wet road. They are going to jump out, and an uh, uh, un unknowing uh, police officer, uh, unknowing drivers, and a wet, slick road surprise them and say, hey, pull over. We are aware of you, is what he said. This gentleman said, we are aware of you. He keeps on looking at his watch. He's giving himself a reason to leave. The looking at the watch is, uh, is a reason to say, okay, it's time to go. So there we are. We, got, we are 16, 17 minutes in, no seatbelt tickets. Disorderly product news has put a stop to the seatbelt uh, ticketing. The... Um, the unlawful, well, it is lawful, but uh, immoral, immor in, immoral uh, ticketing of uh, hardworking American citizens for not having a, a piece of uh, cloth around their chest. Because a seatbelt is inherently not safe to anybody else but the driver. The driver's an adult, they should make the decision. You know what else isn't safe? Uh, it, not wearing, eating fatty foods. How about you go to McDonald's and tell them, uh, don't order that Big Mac? That's not safe, right? Those are trans fats. You don't want those. Those are not safe. Heart attack. Heart attacks, I think, is a, is a bigger leading cause of death than uh, seatbelts. Why don't we go to McDonald's? Or on Starbucks. Starbucks got to have some unhealthy things in there. Let's go in there and enforce safety. Because we're the safety police. This is America. We need $75 for you to be safe. They left you out here all alone. What happened, buddy? That's not fair. If you got to be on the rain, they should too. And walk in the rain. Walking. He's walking the. He's walking the sidewalk. Yeah. Peering into the. Peering into the cars. Peering into the cars. So, uh, the Fourth Amendment is, uh, illegal search and seizure, but, uh, since he is, uh, standing on a public, uh, sidewalk peering into your car, he is, uh, not violating, uh, your privacy. The Supreme Court has upheld that you have some, uh, you, 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 you maintain, you maintain some privacy inside your vehicle, but, uh, because he's standing from a public access way, peering into your car, for no other reason than to try and catch you without your seatbelt. Uh, I guess that's upheld by the Supreme Court. Yep, they're out of here. They're out of here. 19 minutes, and I got them gone. Let's see if they put their seatbelts on. We're going to see if these gentlemen put their seatbelts on. Click it or ticket, guys. Click it. Yeah, there, there, there you go. Now he got it. Now he got it. Now he did it. You come on. You in the back. Come on. In the back. I want. Buckle up. Come on, buddy.